We will now also have a quick look at what is called a precision squeegee. This one is called the Mormon Liquidator. This squeegee is designed to reduce or completely eliminate the solution on the window. You do not need to do any wiping around the edges due to these blue end clips. But sometimes some users find this a little bit tricky to set up. So if you do purchase this squeegee, this may be handy for you to know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to set this tool up so that you can get the best out of it. So like in the previous video, we looked at how to set up the Unger squeegee. We're gonna do this in a similar fashion. Now, because of the end clips on this tool, it is a quite a tight fit getting the rubber into this channel. So we're gonna use our trick that we learned in the previous video, which was using detergent in that channel to get the rubber to glide. So simply, again, putting a little bit of solution, a bit of detergent in there, like so, put that aside. Taking our squeegee rubber, inserting that into the channel. Now you can see how this is a little bit tighter. This is where our cloth is really gonna come in handy to grab a hold of that squeegee rubber. So just grasping our cloth and the squeegee rubber, pull that squeegee rubber through and that detergent is really helping to get that squeegee rubber to glide through without too much issue. Now, the difference between this squeegee and the other one is because this has plastic clips on the end, this is what's gonna protect your customer's frames. Because it's not metal and it's plastic, these clips actually work best when the rubber is flush at the ends. So unlike the previous squeegee where we left a few millimeters hanging out at the end to create a buffering effect, this specific tool, because it's a precision squeegee, we want our rubber to be completely flush at the ends with the end clip. So you can see here how the end of the clip is in line with the rubber. That is what you want on both ends of the squeegee channel on this specific squeegee. Now the way that this channel works is it puts more pressure on the corners of the rubber, which creates more friction. Now, one way of stopping the rubber from being pulled out of the channel, sometimes when you have a lot of friction on the glass, sometimes the rubber can tend to pull out of the channel in this direction. So to try and compensate that, what we do is we take some of these, which are Unger green clips. These are designed to hold your squeegee rubber in place nice and snugly. So again, taking our cloth, it just helps to hold that squeegee rubber. Get a hold of your squeegee rubber nice and tight and then taking your Unger green clip, the side with teeth go into the rubber. The smooth side faces you as the user. So taking our clip, push that inside of the channel, like so, and that will just help to really hold our squeegee rubber nice and tight. So just making sure that the rubber is flush at the end, there's not any rubber hanging out, and there's not, the rubber isn't too short either. This will create issues on the window, so make sure it's flush. Doing the same with the other side. Now, if you find the clips are a little bit tricky to get into the channel, you can use some of your detergent that you've just put in the channel, put a little bit of detergent on the rubber here, and you will find the clip will go in much easier as well. So again, depending on the squeegee rubber that you choose, some are really tight to get into squeegees and other ones are not so. The Unger Green rubber is not too bad. It's a medium rubber, so it's not too, too bad and medium in size as well. So just pushing that clip in like so and then checking the ends of our squeegee rubber like that. And we can just wipe it down. Okay, so you can see there that the channel is nicely set up. Our rubber is flush at the ends and that is ready to go. So same again with the previous squeegee. The side with the most rubber showing is the underside. This is the side that the teeth of your clamp, your handle are gonna grab into. So here's our handle. So similarly like before, it has teeth in here and that is what is going to grab our squeegee rubber, okay? So if it's this way around, where it's mainly metal, that is the wrong way around. The teeth cannot grab metal. The teeth need to grab squeegee rubber. 
Okay, so that's how you remember. This channel also has a groove in the middle to let you know where the middle of the channel actually is. So take the middle of the handle and line that up with the middle of the channel until it push it in until it clicks like so. Just give it an eyeball down the middle of the channel to make sure it's in the middle and pull this lever down towards you and that's it locked in. Okay, and that's it ready to go. So that is the Mormon Liquidator Precision Squeegee with the rubber, how to get the rubber in. The rubber must be flush with the ends of the clip and also the right way round. So this is how you set up the precision tool for window cleaning.